my biggest takeaway is once you accept yourself and what you actually want to do not dictated by society then doors really start to open and you are able to identify opportunity for what it is my name is kelvin and i'm on my 30 to 60 day monk mode journey and i'm learning how to listen to my mind and lead by my spirit and stick to my core values with every decision that i make so the reason why i said yes to, well day three was a weird day is because my cravings turned on but it did not alter my state of being um just to further explain that to you as every single if you come from a smoking journey or a drinking journey where you caught an addiction probably five years plus this will alter your your emotions and how you feel about your day right and um with me on day three that didn't happen and i feel like it's not because i've got any superpowers but it's because there's a specific practice that i've been engaging in and that would be um the ishkriya by sad guru which basically tells you that i'm not the body and i'm not the mind so going back to one of our concepts it actually detaches you as a spiritual being from your body and your mind and when your body desires and wants something you as a spiritual being are able to say no i don't want that you know because you are looking at that thing being either good or bad for you and speaking about said guru and the ishkriya if you do want to look at his meditations which are very helpful that i've used in my journey you can actually go to the apple store or google play and you can just search said guru s-a-d-g-h-u-r-u and his meditations and he has uh daily quotes that really do get you by this led me to actually think about the fact that addiction is more of a choice what do I mean that addiction is more of a choice? It's because sometimes we choose to do things that we are f familiar with. So if I'm addicted to smoking in a specific spot, I'm choosing to always smoke in that spot because it seems very comfortable with me. So um, I feel like we usually tend to make choices that are more comfortable. As, as soon as we try to make choices that are uncomfortable, the body reacts in a certain way to be like, hey, I'm not used to this. So just by that detachment, you learn to see that, okay, so what is this bad habit that I've caught on right now is more of the body's routine, you, you know? It's more of the body's used to waking up and smoking and doing this, whereas do you as a spiritual being really want to? Because I've really had conversations with uh, a lot of people that are like, hey, look here, um, I really want to stop smoking, but I can't. You know, you can, but your body can't because it's so trapped in that um, uh, cycle. This is actually pretty crazy because just thinking about this, uh, there's a th um, there's a there's a there's there's a term for this, and I just thought about it now. It's ba it's from Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. So he calls this concept hypnotic rhythm, rhythm, hypnotic rhythm. Yes. So basically, what happens is uh, your body catches on to a a habit let's say every single day you like waking up and watching tiktok or whatever right so that gets imprinted into you and it become and it happens automatically so most most of our bad habits that we have that we're like no but i don't want to do this i want to stop doing this it's something that's been imprinted and it just happens automatically so in order to detach from that you really need to go away from the situation well whether you want to uh, or not your your only choice out of that is just basically realizing that okay this is automated so now how do i stop this specific automation uh that i'm doing that's making me feel uncomfortable yeah so um definitely look at our hypnotic rhythm you can just even research that um it is it's a concept by napoleon hill it's a scientific concept and just just look it up there's there, there, there's ways to break out hypnotic rhythm which is also another research point that you can just go uh on napoleon hills outwitting the devil ways to uh overcome hypnotic rhythm and then you just get a you know like you just get a lot of ways that's his suggested ways you can also create your own suggested ways depending on your will to be able to break the cycles you don't like you see so just carrying on my day um the idea of choice presented itself to me once again which has it's been a very powerful concept to me um because i did go to the shopping center and the uber driver decided to go wherever he wanted to go 
um, charged me an extra 20 bucks. I was really frustrated for the first two times, third time. I was really frustrated about it, but I just put my mind on something else. And then, you know what? I forgot about it. Uh, he took the extra 20 bucks. It's okay. I'm not going to spend my whole day over that. So, um, no. Yeah, so I just got over that little hurdle and I just decided, you know what? I'm not going to give you my emotions for you to play with them, you know, and for you to kind of like take control and navigate through me. So um, just a disclaimer with all of uh, just highlighting these experiences of my journey. Um, I do need everybody to understand that I have not perfected anything that I am speaking about. But this whole monk mode journey is about bringing these things up and knowing what I do struggle with the most and what could enhance me as a being uh, basically in my career, uh, in my life and with everything that I do. You know, so um, this is kind of like a journal session and I believe that I'm letting you inside of my mind just so that you guys can see what is happening during this monk mode because we are only exposed to the idea of productivity, your business goes 20x, but uh, is that the only thing that matters? Because also as spiritual beings, we do need to grow. And um, there's this concept that's been ringing in my mind that we're going to speak about in day four that we often pray for better situations but spiritually, mentally, and physically, we are not ready for um, those bigger situations that we pray for. So how do we get ready for those situations, which has been a thing that's been uh, meddling in my mind. But let's speak about that in day four. Well, I am in day four currently, so that's exactly what's going through my mind. And uh, I guess in the next vlog, we will just dive deeper into that. Thank you for coming to this point of the video. My name is Kelvin and I am on my monk mode journey and I'm hoping that all of my reflections can have a positive impact on your life. If you are new to this channel, please do hit the subscribe button and let us grow together. Let us get inside and